The following contest is a steel cage match. Making his way to the ring from another time, weighing in at 130 pounds, B. This arena is absolutely electric right now for this steel cage match, guys. And I assure you, this is not your typical match. We're going to see these competitors do things inside that cage that they didn't even know they were capable of. from the United States of America, weighing in at 282 pounds, one half of the Tag Team Champions, Lightning. Byron, do you think the motivation is an issue for the champ scene as the title is not on the line in this one? Not at all, Michael. In fact, given that the title is not up for grabs, I suspect the champ is more motivated to try new things here. Way. Looking at these two men, I don't think there's going to be anything traditional about this one-on-one -on -one matchup. Oh. Nick Breaker! Oh. Shoulders down. An easy kick out there. Not even close. Drop kick. It's the mark. Drop kick. Oh, right in the back. Looks like he's starting to sweat now. I fully expect him to bounce back, though. This is the type of one-on-one -on -one atmosphere where he thrives. Yeah, he's taking on some offense here, but that's to be expected, especially considering who he's in the ring. This match is so evenly contested right now that it's almost impossible. Talk about how important stipulations are in a steel cage match. If superstars sign a contract where the only way to win is escape the cage and have both your feet touch the floor, the competitors must have a plan. Especially since you have to be comfortable trying to escape through the cage door as you do climb. Is it enough though? Oh man, they don't even seem hurt after that. Not yet. Oh boy, he is rolling. Close line. Beautiful tech. Great job escaping, trying to turn this thing around. Corey, you touched on something moments ago that's so important for the combatants in a steel cage match to remember. A superstar must be able to think offensively to figure out how they're going to escape the cage. They must think defensively at the same time so they can prevent their opponent from getting out of the cage first and winning the match. Well, a superstar must become comfortable with escaping the cage by both exiting the cage door and by climbing over the top of the cage. They must also be aware of their attributes and what's best for them. Let's just say if you're a giant like The Big Show, The Undertaker, Kane, or even Braun Strowman, it's preferred to exit through the cage door. Caught 
with the elbow. Right on the jaw. What a stomp. Good grief. Boom, what impact. Oh, nasty impact. Oh, Ooh, what impact. The steel cage is a massive enclosure that stands 15 feet in height. For almost 35 years, a select group of high flyers have taken their aerial assaults to greater heights. And when I say that, I mean superstars climb to the top of the steel cage, the real high red district, and dive off onto their opponent. And that all started with one man in October of 1983, Jimmy Superfly Snuffer. To your point earlier, Byron, we've definitely seen some unbelievable attacks be launched from the top of the steel cage. And you mentioned the most iconic, the steel cage match for the Intercontinental Championship that saw Jimmy Superfly Snuka clash against bitter rival, the magnificent Morocco. There's no denying that Superfly set the bar. If you look over the years to people like Jeff and Matt Hardy, Eddie Guerrero, Kurt Angle, and Chris Jericho, they continued to push the envelope and executed unbelievable attacks from the top of the cage. And watch Rikishi take flight off the top of the steel cage. Wow. Oh, nasty impact. Boom. <laughs> Nailed it. Beautiful technique. You gotta believe this one's over. Harsh impact. <laughs> Boom, what impact. Ooh, this might be it. Oh, my. Beautiful technique. <laughs> Boom, what impact. You have to wonder what's going through these guys' minds in a match of this magnitude. Not so fast. Harsh impact. Given what we've seen so far here tonight, I'm willing to bet these superstars will think twice before stepping foot inside another steel cage. I don't know how these superstars are doing it right now. This singles contest has a victor. When you introduce the enclosure, everything is possible. What a match this was. He ain't playing here. Oh, I can't believe this. Man, this was great. Still can't believe I get paid to watch this amazing action. Here is your winner, Lightning.